Larry Griffiths was a sculptor uh, born and raised in western New York who wanted to not only uh, create artwork, but he wanted to create artwork that people could really interact with. And he also wanted to place it in a setting that was, that was uh, suitable for his ideas. I'm Zach Baylor. I'm the educational coordinator of the Ashford Hollow Foundation. The Griffith Sculpture Park is located uh, in the town of Ashford Hollow, New York. Uh, between Springville and Ellicottville. Well, the Griffith Sculpture Park uh, started in the mid-60s. It was actually the uh, culmination of a bunch of ideas by an artist named Larry Griffiths. Um, Larry had moved his entire family to Italy in the 50s to learn how to sculpt. And when he was in Europe, he watched his kids in all these different art galleries and saw how they weren't allowed to interact with or touch any of the artwork. And in turn, that made the kids very bored. So he had noticed one day at, at the ruins uh, of a Roman site that the, that the kids uh, were able to play and climb all over them and how much they enjoyed it. So when he came back to the, to the States, he decided to create a park that was full of art, but that also was allowed to be played on, climbed on, interacted with. The Griffith Sculpture Park is a 400 acre area, and Larry Griffiths perceived this entire space as one large piece of artwork. Even though it held many of his individual pieces, he thought together they formed one nice large piece. Another mission of Larry Griffiths was to support local art and artists. Uh, so we also opened the doors up to the park for local sculptors to place their work. And as the park grew and grew, this also grew the, in, the invitation for other artists to put their work in grew. And now we have work from local, national, and international artists. Oh. The Ashford Hollow Foundation was also started by Larry Griffiths. It's the umbrella organization of the Sculpture Park in Ashford Hollow and the Essex Art Center in the west side of Buffalo. Uh, the Essex Art Center also started in the late 60s. Larry Griffiths took over an old ice factory and turned it into uh, artist residencies, studio spaces, um, and also his own personal studios. Since then, his son Simon Griffiths uh, took one of the large sections of of the building and created uh, the Studio for Youth. Uh, that studio welcomes in thousands of young people each year to uh, participate in arts programming that's not offered anywhere else in the country, where they actually suit up and they plasma cut and weld and uh, pour metal.